now we are coming on trigonometry third class i am taking on this trigonometry uh last time we have done whenever angle we want in terms of radian angle in radian will be arc by radius this uh, result we have already calculated so angle in radian will be arc by radius that is the result we have already done nothing new in this this we have already done now i want in terms of radian if you have how we convert the angle in degree if it is degree then how we convert in radian so inter conversion of radian to degree or degree to radian that also we should know so for that we are coming on next part prove i am doing that first and then we will use it again we are taking a circle let the radius of this circle be r and uh, again i am taking this point is a this point is b this is the radius then this is also radius then automatically this come out to be one radian and this i'll extend further ye o point this is b point then we have done one formula that is uh, angle a o p by angle a o b comes out to be r a p by r a p this result we have already done in the previous uh, proofs so same result i am using angle a o p a o p is one radian angle a o b we want sorry a o b is two right angles to right angle and then arc length is what arc length if you take this will be ap is small r and this will be pi into r is this clear this r cancel out and then we will say this is one radian Two right angle means what? It will be if we write in degrees, then it will be two into ninety degree will be one by five. So this is two into ninety degree we are writing, or it says a one eighty degree. So in this case, now what the next result comes? One radian by one eighty degree is one by five. Is this clear? Angle A O B was one degree. a uh, one radian sorry so one radian if you are taking now come out to be 180 by 5 degrees this is the formula you should remember one radian is 180 by 5 degree one radian is equal to 180 by 5 degree that you should know now so you can calculate One radian is 180 by pi degree, or you can do this now. One degree is equal to pi by 180 radians. This radian degree. This is radian degree. One radian is this much, and one degree will be this much. That you should keep in mind. So here we should uh, continue with this. So now, how we convert this? So here uh, we got this result, and now we we'll use it and we we'll convert one angle degree to radian and radian to degree. By the way, we will say we have ninety degree. And if they say you convert this in radian, ninety degree. One degree is this much radian. So we should write first one degree is how much? Pi by 180 radian. So we will say 90 degree will be what? Pi by 180 into 90 radian, or I should say it will be pi by 2 radian. So 90 degree is coming pi by 2 radian. By the way, if I say 30 degree is here, and we want to convert in radian, so 30 degree means what I should do now? This will be 30 into pi by 180. Radian, or we should say it will be pi by six radian. By the way, it is forty-five degree. I should say forty-five into pi by one eighty come out to be pi by four radian. 
So whenever degree given and you want this to convert in radian, you should multiply by pi by 180 radian. So 30 degrees, so 30 into pi by 180 come out to be pi by 6 radian. 90 degree pi by 180 into 90 will do pi by 2 radian. If it is 45 degree, then we should say 45 means pi by 180, pi by 4 radian. So this way you can have degree convert into radian. Same way radian can convert into degree. By the way, if I say pi by 2 radian, pi by 2 radian, and I want this to convert in degree, just check here, 1 radian is how much? 180 by pi. So we say 1 radian is 180 by pi degree. So pi by 2 radian will be 180 by pi into pi by 2 180 by pi we are taking into pi by 2. So here pi by 2 radian then when you solve it pi and pi cancel out it will come out to be 90. By the way if I say pi by 6 radian. So what I do here pi by 6 as it is and this will be 180 by pi. Then it will convert into degree. So what it will come pi cancel out 30 degree. So whenever you want degree to radian then what you should do degree multiply by pi by 180 and if radian to degree we want then radian multiply by 180 by pi so this concept you should remember, whenever degree angle is given, you want in radian, this will multiply by pi by 180 and whenever radian, radian multiply by 180 by pi and you can convert in uh, degrees here. So anything you can do in these two. Now I'm taking few questions which you can uh, do easily. First, I'm taking degree we are converting in radians and then radian to degree. That I'll do. First question note here, now they are asking convert pi by 8 radian or you degree you take first, okay degree you are taking uh, 340 degree for example 340 degree. We want it radian, so what I told you 340 into pi by 180 radian. Solve it, this cancel out by 2 also cancel out so 17 pi by 9 radian this is the answer same way if they say 75 degree when you go for 75 degree i should say 75 into pi by 180 radian 75 into pi by 180 radian Solve it, something cancel out. 15 will cancel out. 15, 5s up. Here, 15, 1s up. 15, 15, 2s up. So it'll come out to be 5, 5 by 12 radian. Same way if they say 520 degree. 520 degree. 520 degree means I should say 520 into pi by 180. This cancel out. Solve it now. It will be by 2 it will cancel out. So it is 9. And this will come out to be 26. So it will come 26 pi by 9. Radian. So any angle given in degrees you can convert in radian. Same way radian if given you can convert in degree. So now we are taking second example. Pi by 15 radian, and we should convert in degree. Convert in degree. 2 pi by 15 radian, convert in degree. So, what I should do here 2 pi by 15 into 180 by pi. 
I told you radian if you want to convert in degree we should uh, multiply it by 180 by pi then this pi and pi cancel out by 15 this will cancel out 15 ones are 15 15 twos are 15. so how much it come out to be 24 degree so 2 pi by 15 is 24 degree is this clear one more question note here it will be pi by 8 radian pi by 8 radian so what i told pi by 8 into 180 by pi degrees okay now when you solve it pi get cancel out by this uh, two fours uh, and then it come out to be 90 then it will come out 45 by 2 degrees as it is coming in fraction now slight careful you should be how much this we should write 22 and half degree nothing wrong mixed fraction we have converted and then we have done one more thing what that thing i told you one right angle we have done 90 degree one degree will be 60 minutes and uh, one minute will be 60 seconds and this will use when the degree is coming in fraction so what i should do here we should say 22 degree is complete but this is half degree half degree means less than one degree so whenever this comes less than one degree we should go for this concept one degree is how much 60 minutes so half into 60 if i do it will convert in minutes one degree is 60 minutes so half degree will be half into 60 minutes so what i get here 22 degree 30 minutes is that so pi by 8 represent you 22 degree 30 minutes one more example note here that will be 1 by 4 radian 